How was this guy, Chris Brown, able to sell out in 94,000 capacity FNB stadium in South Africa in less than two hours? And also another stadium in Brazil in less than 16 minutes. In fact, he was forced to include other dates. And guess what? Other dates as equally sold out in less than three hours. Can you imagine, guys? Well, it's a boy, Gary Adams Link. Uh, welcome back. This is your boy. And uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. Try as much as possible to leave your comments, a like, and then subscribe if you are new and invite your friends and family guys to join the big family Adams Link all the way from Ninja country. Well, Let's discuss about uh, Chris Brown and also tracing it down to Border Boy, who also at one point wanted to sell out NF FNB a Stadium in uh, in South Africa as well. That was uh, last year, 2023. But fortunately, something, 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 something happened, and uh, Border Boy wasn't able to either sell it out or pulled out of that show. But we do not know the specific reasons why Bonaboy decided to pull out of that show. But the talk of the town, the talk of the country, the talk of our social media currently is about bon, uh, Chris Brown selling out. So, a few days ago, Chris Brown announced that he uh, was carrying his tour down to Brazil and uh, South Africa. And in South Africa, most especially, why Chris Brown announced that he was coming to South Africa, we saw a lot of women rights activists who were trying to drag Chris Brown history or on uh, Rihanna down to uh, something that happened like 12 years ago down to 2004 and of course you know the new normal in South Africa violence against women that we are trying as much as possible to stand against even us here as Niger uh, in Nigeria are speaking widely against violence against women in South Africa, against any other place in the world. But South Africa, I've said this several times, I don't understand how those uh, men, they act towards their women. So let's also not go there. So the women rights activists were bashing the government not to allow uh, Chris Brown to come to the country, you know, just uh, boy scouting the whole concert. Well, Chris Brown was just quiet. And on the same day, that was uh, yesterday, uh, Chris Brown announced, officially announced the date and announced the ticket sales. He announced it on the, he announced it yesterday and the date for South Africa was uh, December 14th, I think, there about. December 14th was the date for South Africa and boom, in less than two hours. Chris Brown sold out the entire ticket. You know, 90, listen, 94,000 capacity. But then again, they may have included more because we are talking about, uh, uh, we are talking about concert here. It's not match, rugby match or football match. You know, if it's a rugby match, uh, then the fans will be able to occupy the, the field, but if his concert comes, we occupy the field as well, and then, then the stadium can op occupy way more people. Hmm? More people. So, guys, Chris Brown sold it out in less than two hours. So now the question was, where were those? Where were those uh, women activists and who was trying to bash Chris Brown? And say Chris Brown couldn't sell it out. Is it that this whole thing, this whole Chris Brown story is only based on social media alone? Just social media alone, the whole eight social media alone. Chris Brown was called by Ticketmaster and they told him, see, you have already sold this out and people are still demanding for tickets in South Africa. So we are going to include another date to sell out another 94,000 tickets and they included December 15th again the second day guess what Chris Brown sold it out again in less than three hours 
So we do not know if Chris Brown will be greedy and be like, ah, you know what, I think I should include another day too because we are not talking about uh, a, a small change here. We are talking about $70 per ticket. $70 per ticket. And approximately, I think, the total ticket they have sold so far is like 100000 100,000 ticket. And when you times uh, $70 times 100,000 ticket, it, it gives you $7 million. $7 million. For two nights, that is $14 million. I never knew South Africa have so much money to spend. Wow. <laughs> if Chris Brown is coming to Nigeria, I, I, I'm not sure. 100% Chris Brown will not be able to sell out any stadium in Ninja. It's not because it's not that popular. It's because of the ticket price. Nigeria are not that, do not have such liquidity now. Nigeria do not have such money now. Not possible. Not possible. We love Chris Brown, but come on, I have no money to spend on Chris Brown. Honestly, because the economy is bad over here. So the, he, 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 he won't be accept if he's been sponsored to come over here. And the ticket kind of like beat down a little bit. If uh, Chris Brown wants to sell and he sells ticket to us for as low as a $20, $30, then I am sure, I am, I am sure Chris Brown will sell at the stadium. I'm sure Chris Brown will sell at the stadium for... $20, $30 uh, 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 ticket price. But $70, uh, that is highly impossible, man. That is highly, highly, highly impossible. So the lowest ticket for Chris Brown Crossfire was $70. It goes up to $100 or something, $200. For VIP, we see $300 and so on. Two nine sold out. So I do not know if Chris Brown will include more dates. And when it comes to the Brazil, Chris Brown also sold it out as well. Brazil tickets sold out two nights. And Brazil, he was uh, he, he, he slated to perform on the 21st of December. Sold out. Two nights. Two nights as well. 21st and 22nd. Two nights sold out. So we do not know if Chris Brown will be greedy to include more dates. Because now tickets are selling out fast now. And people want to see party. They still want Chris Brown. <laughs> Big name. So let's now go over to our own Odogu. Odogu pulled out of a South Africa uh, concert. Because you guys know the history between Odogu and South Africa. And every Nigeria who Odogu dear in their heart. Most especially me. It's our own. So it's in my heart. Support him whenever, however. Odogu had a very long history with uh, South Africans when the xenophobia something was happening and the Odogu speak plainly concerning that whole incident and also so many other issues about South Africa as well. Negatively, according to South Africa, they say Odogu speak against them negatively and according to us, it's, uh, it's being positive because he wants to spread one love for all Africa. Well, Odogu was slated to perform in 2023 in South Africa at the same FNB stadium. When ticket went on sale, it took one day, two day, one week, two weeks, three weeks, after so many, uh, after so many weeks. Then Odogu said, on that, when, when, when the day was fast approaching, Odogu said he wasn't able to come to South Africa. Pulled out of the show. But we never saw anything like sold out, let's be honest. We never saw anything that sold out. So it was rumored that Odogu wasn't able to pull out crowds in South Africa. It was rumored that Odogu wasn't able to sell out the FNB stadium. Some people rumored that South Africa do not have enough money to buy Odogu's ticket. But let's be honest. They can buy Chris Brown ticket. That is to mean that means that uh, they have enough money to buy Odogu to get a, a ticket if they want to buy. So there was another rumor that 
it was a fraud that the organizers of the show didn't pay for the venue and so many other stuff as well. So it was just a scheme of fraud to defraud South Africans. So there were different, different allegations coming from here, but only Odogo and the organizer knew exactly why. Some people said Odogo was afraid because of what he had said about South Africa. South Africa was so bittered online, showing that if Odogo come to South Africa, there might be some crazy stuff happening because of what he had said. So I don't know why Odogo decided to pull out, but we already know that they were not... Like, if it was sold out the same way Chris Brown sold it out and it is being it's all over the place, I think uh, we would have known as well that they sold it out. So I do not actually know, but let us just leave that story. Odogu is our own. But big up to Chris Brown, man. Selling out FNB Stadium, 94,000 capacity. And if his concert, that is about 100,000 capacity. That is no beanstalk. No media coverage. That is what you see other people selling out tickets. You see the media, the heavy media coverage, the heavy this, the heavy promotion. You spend like quarter of that money on promotion, heavy media coverage. Chris Brown didn't need that media coverage because no media wants to even work with him anyway because of his history with Rihanna. No media. But then again, it's just an Instagram post. Just posted it on Instagram and everything sold out. That's what we call star power. Star power that today's internet cannot outcome, cannot quench. Huh? Big up to Chris Brown. It's, uh, congratulations to him. It's not easy, guys, being that he has gone through a lot and uh, they keep on undermining his talent and uh, what he can render, how good he is. You know, it's not easy at all. So big up.